manager 2015 with Aston Villa. 7th of October 2017 and we make our way, we are going to Stamford Bridge for um, today's live commentary. Um, and what has been a, an odd start, not the best start, definitely not the best start, but um, getting better I suppose. I suppose we should uh, look uh, into the transfers. There's been one or two. One more coming in. There's been a few actually going out. A uh, fair few loans. As you can see. Uh, Graham Burke was released. Jed Steer was probably the most notable of the loans. Alongside Jordan Graham. From, uh, who went to Leeds and Coventry respectively. One guy coming in. A return to the club for Theo Walcott. Who's actually been much better this time around. Because he hasn't got injured yet. Four games, one goal, 7.05 rating. Um... Yeah, we managed to get him back in for only something like 40k a month, which I thought was quite good, plus only 20% of his wages. We are paying uh, 22 grand. I think he's on like 100 grand or something. So, quite good there. Um, yeah, nice little loanee, I think, to have in. And he's given us out of depth in the striker and in the attacking midfielder uh, positions. Anyway, so the fixture since last time. The last time was a disappointing 2 0. Defeat to Manchester City, although we play quite well, we just lost it really around the hour mark there. We lost our concentration and we lost 2-0. Next game was at home to Everton, in which we lost again, this time 2-1. Uh, we were 2-0 down, Rom Romelu Lukaku and Matos scoring this Matos guy. I'm not really quite so sure of who he is. Came from Fiorentina, it seems. Um, starts at Fiorentina, even. Federico Bonazzoli. Managed to score a goal on his debut coming off the bench, but it wasn't enough to give us um, a share of the spoils at Villa Park. Jesus Christ, I don't know. Like, we, we just don't have it in the Capital One Cup, do we? This is the third year in a row we've been knocked out in the second round by lower league opposition. Rochdale, this time the team to down us. Ryan Tunnicliffe gave them the lead. Jack Grealish equalised, I thought it was all going to go swimmingly, we'd be able to win the game 2 or 3 1. We should have won it 2 or 3 1, we ended up losing on penalties after it went 1 all. Disgrace, really. And we travelled to Anfield, which is really where we didn't want to go in this sort of a run of fixtures. Um, we lost 3 0, 2 for Jordan Henderson and Paco Alcazar. Again, we played actually quite good in the first half, limited them to no, not really any chances. But we kind of just, it all went wrong after half time. Cerna got sent, Cerna got sent off for them with six minutes to go, but it really didn't matter. And played Arsenal, and this was like the Liverpool game last year. Uh, it was a few episodes back where we drew 2-2. Uh, Lucas scored a last minute uh, equaliser for them. It was a bit like that. They went 2-0 up through uh, two corner goals from Danny Welbeck. And they were 2-0 up at half time, but we turned it around uh, in in around 20 minutes in the second half. Roberto Pereira, Moy Gomez and Jack Grealish all scoring to make it 3-2. But then Alexander Dragovic scored in the 92nd minute to give Arsenal a, a point. Undeserved as well, which is which made it even more disappointing than it already was. So you can see that Peruzzi did get injured. And you'll see who the replacement uh, was for him the next uh, now. Which is Stephen Bradbury. And actually, unfortunately, he's now picked up an injury. So we're really stretched to that right back position. But anyway, this was our first win of the season, and it was away at Spurs, so it was an excellent result. Um, they're playing at Wembley. I'm not sure whether this is their... Why are they playing at Wembley? I'm not quite so sure. Um, I don't know whether they're moving ground or something, and they're just, they've just moved into Wembley for a little bit. But anyway, we lost 2-1. Sorry, we won 2-1 even. We went 1-0 down to Jan Bertongen in the 33rd minute. Goals from Jack Grealish and Theo Walcott in the second half. Gave us uh, a fantastic win, really, away from home. Especially against Spurs, who are renowned to be a very good team in this save. And then we thumped QPR 3-0 in our latest game. Jack Grealish and Balanta giving us early goals. Alan Rodgers then got sent off for QPR before Pereira uh, closed it out, really, to uh, ensure a 3-0 win. We do have a fair amount of injuries at the moment, though. We've got Gina Peruzzi's out. Uh, he's coming back, though, maybe in a, I think in a week, yeah. Bonazzoli's out. He's, he's been out for a while. He's out for another two or three weeks. Bradbury played a few games. He's now out for two months, so which is an absolute shocker because he was really in, 
as you can see here, he was improving very well. Unfortunately, that's going to be stinted a little bit because of this. And Dede has been out for a long time, but he's come back in two days. He's only played four games this year, which is disappointing. So the top goal scorer is Jack Grealish. He's scored four. He's been really good this to, uh, in the start of this season. 22-year-old Irishman. He's only 22. And it kind of feels like he's been around for ages, but yet he's only 22. Shows you kind of how good I think he really is. Pereira scored two, and then one each for Walcott, Bonazzoli, Gomez, and Balanta. Uh, Balanta's come back in after kind of an injury at the start of the season, and he's been really rock solid. We've managed to tie him up on another long term deal as well, because uh, he was attracting interest and he didn't really like, he didn't really want to stay. But then it came back to me saying he's set to stay at Villa, so I immediately hopped in to try and give him a new deal. And he's give, he's on a bit of a pay rise now. He's on six seven grand a week, but he is contracted for another four years at the club, which is fantastic. Now anyway, we might as well get into today's game and show you the team we're going for, which is Horning Nets, who's been quite good actually since signing. Sissoko at left back, Balanta on a core rate with Santana at right back, cleverly and Bravo, Walcott, Pereira, Grealish, and Lucas Boyer up front, who's yet to score. Uh, this season and to be honest he doesn't really look like scoring but he's got a few assists in his last few games which is uh, encouraging me so yeah yeah Sonogo for the first time is going to uh, feature on the bench which is good to see he's uh, nearly back fully from his two month injury he picked up at the end of pre-season we'll go into today's game again it's a bit like last last um the last episode, you know, I'm not really actually expecting anything from this game, you know. As long as we put in a, uh, a solid enough performance, give, give a good, good um, give Chelsea a good rattle. If he could score a goal, that would be really nice. Um, I always think, you know, even in real life, when you're a smaller team and you're going to... Lucas Boyer! Would you believe it? He scored his first goal of the season. And <laughs> it's against Chelsea. Jeez, you are taking the piss. It's a really well-worked goal, actually. It's Grealish who feeds him through, and he takes a good touch, kind of brings it round the keeper and slots it home. Easy as you like. Lucas Boyer. That is stunning from him, but here come uh, Chelsea. So we've got the goal I was looking for. It's El Shawari should score there, but Timo Horn with a point-blank save. In this situation, an absolute stunner of a save. But here they come again, cleverly this time gets it away, Oscar Hazard, going all the way, Hazard, good save again by Timo Horn. He, he has been quite, he, Walcott, a Corre! He was offside, and he should have scored anyway though, um, like I don't mind those, if they go in, you know, at least he's put it in the back of the net. But to miss, even though it was offside, is not very good, but here's Thiago, it's getting a little, me a little bit dodgy here, Azilla Puerta Malanda. Now out to Thomas Callas, Hazard, how has he missed? What a save from Timo Horn. He is playing a blinder in it. Balanta! Oh, how has he missed? How has that not been bundled into the back of the net? I will never know. Here's Santon. We've, we've had a few chances, even though we've actually had very little of the ball or anything, we've had a few chances. Pereira! That's our third clear-cut chance. How have we not scored more than that one goal? God, we're really ruining... We might end up ruining these mistakes. Sissoko... Oh, that is just... That is just shit from Sissoko. Mike on. <laughs> Apparently that didn't even take a deflection. He just hit that out as it was. Here's Oscar, Thiago, Hazard. Hazard, maybe all the way for Eden Hazard. It's well wide in the end. And we will go in... And half time here at Stamford Bridge, 1 0 up. I remember the last live commentary we did against Chelsea, which was a few episodes back. We won 4 3. It was a stunner. It was at Villa Park. Uh, but here's Pereira. Oh, God, Pereira's nearly through again. So, you know, though, today the three clear cut chances in the first half we were able to create. We only managed to tuck one of them away, though, which was disappointing to say the least. He's cleverly, though, finds Federico Bravo. He's getting a rare start. And he's. We've ended up losing the ball here, and cleverly, that is shocking. Tom, 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 what are you done? What have we done? Hazard. Timo Horn! <laughs> God, the man is playing an absolute stormer in this. 
7.5 on the ratings for Timo. Take that. Bravo. Oh, that's such a poor pass, Bravo. Oh, that's, that's even worse from Ashawari. Herrera, all caught in behind. Boye! It's our fourth clear-cut chance. The finishing today has been just hopeless. Eight clear-cut chances so far in the game. Only one of them taken. Hazard, a booba car! Over it goes. It's nine clear-cut chances. It's one goal in this whole game. Atalanta, bravo. It's end-to-end -end here. Grealish. Boye, bravo, Pereira, Walk, oh, and Walcott was nearly in. Akore does well, cleverly, bravo, Pereira, Boye! No, no, no. Lucas Boye, Grealish! Oh, God, that was just as good a chance, really. Didn't go down as a clear cut chance, but it was nearly, cleverly now. So, wait, win that, well done. Win that. Oh no. Cleverly. Santon, you idiot. You've been sent off. No, 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 Santon. That is a howler. And what are we going to do now? Uh, we're going to have to stick Balanta out on the left. Go really clutching at straws here. Pereira or Walcott to come off. I think Pereira. Uh, and... No, oh, no, we need Pereira to come down to a centre-back position here. And we're going to have to bring on Ron Vlar. God, this is unideal, though. Not the time to get sent off, Santon. Really wasn't. Going to have to play Balant as an auxiliary right back. And we're kind of closing in on the last ten minutes here. Here's a core. I find Vlar cleverly. Boye, Grealish. It's away, Sissoko though, come on. No, Sissoko. He shouldn't really be playing. Sherla. He's offside. <laughs> he's offside. God, they finally put the ball in the back of the net and he's offside. Would you believe it? We're still going here. God. I need to catch my breath here. It's been an absolute stormer of a match. To be only 1-0. Do Shirley, 89th minute, not going to be heartbreak, surely. Callas, cleverly away, win that Balanta, oh no Balanta, yes, no, no, Vlar, what are you doing? God, I, f I feel like Cami here, Shirley, Costa, oh, side again, <laughs> how is this happening? Got a minute and a half left. Costa, Abubakar. Ab Abubakar, yeah. Hazard. Tiago. Oh, it's blocked on the line by Balanta. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a stop. Azilla Puecta. Away. Go on. Boye. Boye. Oh, Boye. <laughs> Sosoko. Bravo. Sosoko Grealish. Just play it out, Grealish. A boy! It's another chance missed. It's all over! We have won at Stamford Bridge. Jeez. Give me a minute. <laughs> An absolute stunner of a game. Lucas Boye's goal in the third minute is enough to separate the two sides. And for the time being, we are back in the top half. Now, we are the first game of this, because um, we were the half-12 start, so that might uh, drastically change. But nonetheless, what a game that is. One of the maddest games you'll see to be only 1-0. Anyway, if you enjoyed the uh, next episode will be the Southampton game away from home. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. I'll see you guys later. Bye.